Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today I'm bringing you a Turnator deck partnered with Heatran and Naganadel. Now, I promised Captain Flamion a little while ago that I would bring a Turnator build and here it is. So what is this deck all about? Well, really, it's just about hitting really, really big numbers and smashing down big, heavy Pokemon. So we've got this explosive jet attack for three fire energy, does um, like we can use it, and then we can discard any number of fire energy from any of our Pokemon, does 50 damage for each po um, fire energy we discard card in this way now because there's so much support for this um, this actually becomes quite deadly so first of all we can pay for the attack immediately with a welder so welder two fire engines onto it manually attach a fire engine and we've paid for the terminator's attack then we've got Naganadel that can go and charge up any of the fire engines from the discard into like back into play which just works really nicely to bring the, bring the big numbers up that we like plus it hits for a psychic weakness that's always handy and we've also got Heatran here now Heatran's absolutely clutch because he can hit 130 without having to discard NGs and that can be really important in some matchups um, but he's got this burning road ability where once per uh, once during our turn we may move from the bench to our active and basically move any of fire engines in play to the heat train. Now, that's really good for paying not only its steaming stomp attack for three fire engines, and obviously we've got Naganadels in play, so we can bring that in quite nicely, but we've also got this hot burn GX attack. So it does 50 damage times the number of fire engines attached to the heat train. So once again, we can get a nice big explosive KO with the Heatran as well. And that's really the main idea behind the deck. We're just getting lots of NG play into play with welders and then putting off big explosive attacks and then recovering NGs with the Naganadels. Now, because Welder is absolutely clutch in this match and we need to be able to use Welder right through the match, we're using Power Pad as well to be able to go and recover some Welders back. And we're also using things like Fire Crystal to be able to get Fire Engies back from the discard so we can continue weldering. Um, Giant Hearths, just to be able to get them from our deck. We've also got, we've got a lot of stadiums here. We've got Ultra Space to be able to set up our Nagano Dells. Um, we've got Heat Factory, which can come absolutely clutch in certain situations. Just to be able to dig us a little bit deeper into our deck. So the Heat Factory is absolutely huge in the deck. Uh, we've got one switch, which is just really good because obviously the Heat Tran um, works with the switch quite nicely, plus the U-turn board. So we can chuck that to a Nagano Dell and do the same thing without losing energy. And then we've got Pug Gears to be able to try and find more of our welders, and that's really how the deck works. Now, before we get started, just a reminder, the giveaway is still on, so don't forget to leave your question and your hashtag bell curved in the comments to be able to enter that giveaway. So anyway, let's begin. Hello, Azazel, welcome. This is definitely not the hand that you really want to start the game. Going second too. At least you can't start a strike and run immediately. Throw away a prox. There's Viridian down. Is this the Ultra Necrozma deck? Is that what the box looks like? This might be like the Ultra Necrozma that, you know, the thing that's actually currently a giveaway. So, <laughs> Drachi, Tina's. The Tina's annoying. Tina is annoying. We top deck a Terminator. These two to the Turnator. Comes away the Naganadelm. Go and get another Poi Palm. I do think. Oh wow, I've prized both. Okay. Well, that's not an option anymore. <laughs> At least not in the early game. Turnator, we're relying on you to get some KOs early. Thank you. 
I might hold there. And just leave it. So I'm assuming this will probably be the strike and run, set up in case. And switcheroo instead. I mean, if you get the board, or have the board, that's... Makes logical sense, I guess. Another Acrobike. I mean, all these cards do look like this is just that deck straight used. Getting K down. I'm surprised you didn't hit these two. Because this one's coming into battle eventually. And you're able to one shot it easily. You certainly don't need to make up any numbers whatsoever. Let's just gear and see what this gets, Cynthia. But let's do this. I don't like throwing fire crystals away because I'm going to really need them. But I do think you're about to get KO'd. Ah, right, well that was West. Ouch. Attach there for now and just hold. So the fact that you've got two Tinas up and not two Mallys up is good, but I don't like the fact that like, I need to take a KO next turn. That's just something that has to happen no matter what. I need to take KO next turn. I'm hoping you don't take KO this turn. So I'm hoping you don't have a switch or a board, which is a big hope. And I just don't like my chances. So you gotta avoid switches and boards. Having dug that way, you know, far through your deck. Do I get lucky? Let's see it yet. We get lucky. Gears, I think, are more important. Get rid of that. Chuck that on to you, Cynthia. Kinda wish I had the heat trans for use. I have a big problem in that I don't have another attacker after this.
Do not have another attacker after this unless I can get that heat train out. Which I cannot. So we don't have another attacker next. And we're having to two shot this, which is just terrible. Absolutely horrendously bad. Uh, the game plan is to try and dig one of you. Which we've got. What am I ditching? What am I ditching? Probably the fire NG. Ditch the fire. Get Turnator. Fire crystal. Can we get three of these back? Welder. Two of them to the Terminator. NG attach here. Retreat to the Terminator. Charge up. We would not mind finding my heat trans sometime soon. Power pad back, couple of welders. I'm getting three NGs back out of the discard anyway. So do it that way and just see whether you have the switch as well. So what do you need? Other than melee in hand and NG in hand that you can attach here. We've got a heat train, brilliant. Brilliant. You need a switch and NG. You got the board, so you've got it anyway. Unfortunately. At least we have an attack for next turn. We just lose a total of one NG, but... It was greedy. I should have just taken the two NGs off of you. But we just... We're experimenting. You do need the Mally next turn. So that's probably what you're digging for right now. Interesting. I'm going to shove it to the back tainer. So you do need your other melee. The fact that I've got Heatran makes me so happy here. And we've got Welder. Which isn't great right now, believe it or not. We're going to Heat Factory. Gets another Turnator, so now the Welder works a little bit better. Got our fourth Naganadel up. Wow, 
let's just charge all these energies up. And then... Welder into our Turdinator. I don't know how many more fire engines are in deck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three maximum. Anyway, Heat Train, come to join the party. Retreat to the Heat Train. We'll grab them just like this. Um, I actually put that one back so you're only one away from attacking if I need you. That seems fine. We only need three. That seems good. Force the Ultra Necrozma out if you want to attack with that next. Yeah, so we'll now Steaming Stomp take out the Tina. So if you want, want to one-shot me, it forces the Ultra Necrozma out. Which means that I can then get two prizes back and I've got only got to work out one more attacker after that, which is potentially another heat trap. Yeah, so that's what's coming now, is the option of Chrysma. It's amazing how this good this deck just operates without any inclusions that I can see yet. It's nuts. So I have to make it happen with the Turdinator. Wow, did you not have the maths? Hang on. You had it. Because you could discard the beast energy. Well, we might as well get rid of the Viridian. Is there anything else I want to thin from the deck? Not really. All I want to do is probably get rid of the Ultra Space and grab the last couple of fire energies that we've gotten here. We'll chuck these two to the Turdinator. And we'll just charge up. There's Naganadel just here. We could retreat to the Naganadel. Oops. Because I'm on turning point, aren't I? That's when I'm on three, yeah. I actually like that play better. We're going to retreat to the Naganadel. Charge up those NGs back. Yeah. I like this a lot better. Yeah. Because <laughs> now you're not even hitting a two prizer. Still, that deck competes pretty well for just like a straight... Like, I don't think there was any changes made to that deck. But yeah, GG's, GG's. Hello, Cha Cha, welcome. Uh, didn't really want Heat Train to start this game. Well, maybe I did, I don't know. <laughs> um. What comes away is Heatran for a Poipole. I think that's our first priority. Just a couple of Poipoles. Actually, going to be a 
stupid as this is, I'm going to get rid of a welder. Get another poi pole. Just to custom one more out of the deck. Beautiful welder, these two. The heat train. Oh, we got Cynthia for the next play, I guess. That's, that's always something. Get the altar space down because we'll just continue pulling poi poles. And yeah, we're done for the moment. Got Zappy. And Zerka Tree. Zerka Tree is one that's going to annoy me. Just because of the confusion stuff. I need to power pad a couple of welders back too. So I gotta find that at some stage pretty soon. Alright, big run with Zerora. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Zerk Tree Confusion to try and delay. And that is super annoying because I've no way to really play around that at all. Just to the minute. Uh, a couple of Naganadels. Cynthia. Not the greatest. Ah, uh, well, we'll saving stomp, see what our luck is. It is good. Get rid of that Zerk tree anyway. Oh, pulled a world out of the prizes. Didn't even realize I had any prize. That's bad. It's got Zappy coming in next. What I will do if I can pull another fire energy from somewhere. Oh, we can guarantee it with Fire Crystal anyway. So I might actually retreat out to the Turdinator here. In fact, that's definitely what I'm going to do. That is certainly the play. Got both of them back. So go and get Naganadel. Naganadel down. Let's quickly welder these to the Turdinator. Beautiful. Got an energy attachment as well exactly what I needed. So we'll retreat to the Turnator. Get those energies back. Do I see you having an attack next turn? Potentially. Because the Magnemite's there. It's always a threat. It's always a big threat. Alright, uh, well, Explosive Jet, we'll discard from you guys and try and be as cheeky as we can about this, so... Hedge our bets a bit. Yeah. Hedge our bets. Another Nagging Adele. Just because Magnazone can make, like, just attacking really quick and efficient, so that's the plan to go that way instead. Lose tactics. It doesn't help you immediately. Can sacrifice the Zero Aura. This is my last welder, which is what I'm worried about quite a bit. I 
I only need two fire engines, so we just need one in the discard. One can go to you. Actually, we're going to welder the one to you. Then Heat Factory. Start charging you up. We need to find our power pad. Pretty quick time. Having said that, I'll put you under a lot of pressure anyway. In terms of a clock, so... Explosive jet. What do we need? Four? You have to start making something happen pretty well now. I would have thought. We'll be cheeky about it again. Probably should discard two from you, but anyway. We can get three back plus the retreat, so... It's four on the manual attachments five to take out the pigger on immediately. So yeah, we're still in a reasonable spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's far too quick for you there. Hello, Marillo. Welcome. Ah, get out there. Couple of Jirachis. No real indication of what we're up against. And bills. Alright, so we're up against a fossil deck of some kind. A Rampardos deck. I feel like Turdene is the way I want to go with this. So Ultra Space, go and get a Poi Pole down. Get Turdene down. Weld up to this guy just here. NG attached to him. Yeah. Custom for an extra pull. It's another fire NG, not the greatest. But leave it at that. So the thing I want to make it, like, this does not one-shot my Terminators. The Wild Crush does, obviously, being a basic, but that's a lot of energies to have to use to one-shot a Terminator. Without anywhere near as good energy acceleration as what I've got. So that's the theory. And I should be able to get a sneaky little KO on a... I'm hoping you don't outspy Ultra Space, but... As long as I get a Naganadelm. Should be able to get a sneaky KO here, which you did ask the Ultra Space. So now I just need to get a Magnadel. Get a sneaky KO on a Jirachi. I mean, you need to start energy attacking to prepare, too. To Toy Gun. Alright, energy attach here. Find me a Naganadel, please. You do. Fantastic. We could. Custom catcher, I don't see necessarily the benefit of doing that. So 
So now we'll retreat out to the Terminator. Pull that energy back. I mean, is there anyone that I really want right now? We need to take the Jirachi that does not have the board. I say the Jirachi with the board. But they could prove valuable draw if I miss on the Poker Gear. Explosive Jet. There's no real benefit beyond hitting the Jirachi with the board. It's the only benefit I see. So we'll take a prize here. Beautiful, another Naganadel. That always helps. Salamance goes back. Get what you actually do again, like your evolution. I know it turns off tool cards, so that doesn't really bother me. A three ram part or so, give you that. We'll certainly give you that. Three ram part or so. Getting another Jirachi down. Do I take out the Rampardos now? I think that is a better move. Because the Rampardos is the biggest threat on the board to me right now. Yeah, I think it's the Rampardos. I'll just take that Rampardos out while I can. We're definitely nagging a Delling down. Poker gear ourselves, see if we can find a welder. Beautiful. Just because I can weld the Terminator, dig a little bit deeper, which feels fine. Alright, all customs, the Rampardos. We'll go and get ourselves out another Naganadel. So the problem here, I don't have the third fire energy, but I do have the fire crystal. So that's really good. So explosive jet, one from you, one from you, one from you. Take out the Rampardos now before it gets within that KO, that one shot range. Got up space. I mean, that can go on Pokecoms for whatever I need, so that's always good. Got a Lance. What can he get straight out? Oh, the Salamance. What can you do? Ah, no retreat cost. Yeah, fair cool. Fair cool. Oh, super boost NG. I did not see that coming. Have to admit, did not see that one coming. Alright. So I just lost five NGs, but I can get a bucket load of NGs back, I think. Just gotta think. Ultra Space guarantees me what I need. Because that gets me my Heat Train. Three NGs to my Heat Train. Through an NG attachment and two of you charging up. So, I'll just space, go and get the Nagan Adele. Put that back, go and get Heatran. Chuck Heatran down. We charge all of you guys up first.
I did not think, even think about Super Boost Energy being in this deck. At least we can get rid of it straight away. Alright, so we retreat out to the Heatran. Take these two NGs. Fire Crystal, three NGs back. Into hand. NG attached to you. And then take out the Rampardos. Alright. And we still have the Heat Factory for the next turn as well. Which is always nice. Now, this guy becomes a much bigger threat against my Heatran. Oh, it's one of those that does like extra for all in all my retreat costs. I remember that. Do you remember that? Just forget how expensive his attack is. Martial Arts and Viridian. Wow, he's certainly playing a lot of stadiums. Certainly never going to win the stadium war, am I? <laughs> so what I need to start setting up now is a Turnator. Big time, that's what we're looking for now, is setting up a Turnator. So Aerodactyl could be coming to times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active so I don't want to attach anything more until after that comes into the active. How many NGs do we have in the bin? None at the moment. So we'll go and get ourselves a Turnator. Heat Factory. Turnator down, NG to you, Cynthia out. I was hoping for Welder. Well, we certainly don't want to attach anything more to this heat train just at the moment. Wouldn't mind digging my other heat train out of the prizes as well. Steaming stop. So that's my one use on the uh, heat factory. Fire crystal. It's hoping for the heat train. Mind you, I am also running a bucket load of stadiums. <laughs> Still got a, another one of these giant hearths, I think, somewhere. So yeah, I'm also running a bucket load of stadiums. Alright, so it's energy cost is high. That's what I like to see. It's energy cost is high. Oh, the martial arts dojo, that's gonna get it there, doesn't it? 40 more. Not quite yet. Because that's 150. You need oh no, 190. No, you've got it. Mmm. So yeah, I need the heat tram. Now that prizes, either that or I get welder now. If we can find welder, that will also save me. Otherwise, I'm probably delaying for a turn. I feel like I might be delaying for a turn, which means I'm sacrificing a Naganadel, which isn't great. Hmm. Not the greatest at the moment. So we'll grab these two. I mean, happily been another NG. attached to you. Just bricked up at a really bad time. 
Yeah, you might as well charge up, why not? Bricked up at a really bad time. But you've used your GX attack, so you now need Welder or something to start attacking after this. Or you could clean hit me actually. But then I've got my Terminator ready to take this back out. And gets me within one prize card then. Need my top deck to be kind. Oh, it still doesn't do enough. It's only doing 120. That's funny. Oh, welder. That'll play. That'll play. So. I think we just manually retreat, go to Terminator now, and we'll leave the welder for after this. Charge up. Charge up. So I'll leave the welder to after, or do I do it now? How many welders have I got? An absolute ton. Got another Terminator, which is always nice. I think we'll play it. So, explosive jet. How many do I need? Three. Uh, actually, move that. Take one off of you. Take one off of you. Yeah. That seems fine. Alright, one more prize to go. Ah, hey Tran, nice of you to join us. Not that I want hey Tran anymore, actually. Because I've used my GX and... Yeah. Got a Terminator up. Couple of poke gears to kind of try and dig another welder. We got there. <laughs> we got there against the fossil deck. And it is time to rate this deck and staying with damage here. Well, <laughs> the, the idea behind the deck is just to be able to bring up massive numbers and this deck does that beautifully. So the damage, we can KO anything in the game. We can bring up huge numbers with the Terminator, huge numbers with the Heat Train as well with the GX attack. So yeah, damage, easy, 10 out of 10. As for the defense, well, we're not a one prize card trade because we do have the heat trans in here as well. Uh, we don't have high HP. Uh, we're not a defensive deck. We're about all just smacking in and hitting through our opponent really, really quickly. So the defense side of things, I'm giving it a six out of 10. As for reliability, well, fire decks just have so much support behind them right now with the welders. Welders just absolutely busted. Um, to go along with things like giant hearse, heat factories, fire crystals, um, having the heat trend that we can swing in, the reliability of this deck is really quite strong. So I'm giving the reliability side of it a 9 out of 10. So overall, what do I think? Well, I'm definitely glad that Captain Flamion did ask me to put this together, um, like put my own list of Terminator together. I had a lot of fun with this, and this might actually be just one more, one of my uh, favourite little builds that can just bring up huge numbers just to go to every now and again. So I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10, and it's certainly fun to play.